All right, now this combines stoichiometry with ideal gas law, okay? Because remember, if you can get to moles, you can basically do all these problems, all right? I hope you're noticing you can do any problem from any chapter as long as you have a way to get the moles. And obviously, since moles is the most important thing, notice all these equations are getting everything to moles, okay? So here's the problem, all right? You have airbags, all right? And they inflate by this equation. You actually have sodium azid uh, in the airbag, and it produces a reaction where you form sodium metal and nitrogen gas. And nitrogen gas actually inflates the um, airbag, okay? So a typical driver side airbag contains 50 grams of sodium azid. Before we even do anything, um, do you think we have to do a balance equation and probably get to moles of sodium azid? Okay. Determine the volume of nitrogen gas that would be generated by the decomposition of the 50 grams of sodium azid at 85 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. All right. So determine the volume of nitrogen gas. We are determining the volume of this, the liters of that, okay? So in order to do that, we're talking about a gas, PV equals NRT, okay, for nitrogen. We are looking for the volume of nitrogen. So I need to get the pressure of nitrogen, all right? I'm looking for the volume here. I need to get the moles of nitrogen, and I need to get the temperature of nitrogen. Okay, all right, well, the, the pressure of nitrogen is one atmosphere, because that's what this question is saying, basically saying this is done at one atmosphere. The, the temperature is 85 degrees Celsius, but remember, I got to add 273 to it. Don't, uh, uh, what's going on? Don't forget that. Oh, uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's see, keep for a second there. Exciting. Okay, so 273 plus 85, so that is, let's see, 8 and uh, 5, 358, does that sound right? I think so, yep, 358, okay, so that's my temperature, and my pressure is 1, I have that, but now I need to get the volume, okay, that's what I'm looking for, but now I need to get moles. Well, how do I get moles of nitrogen? I'm given grams of sodium azid. Well, you guys know how to do this. Start with 50 grams of sodium azid, okay? and figure out how many grams, actually how many moles of nitrogen there is. All right, do I have space to do it? No, all right, I'll kind of squeeze it in here. So 50 grams, actually here, they actually do the problem here for me right here. Um, I don't like how they do that. Well, yeah, that's fine, I'll just do here. 50 grams of sodium azid. I, use, I have to use the molecular weight of sodium azid. I haven't figured it out, but it's 65.02 grams per one mole times there are two moles of sodium azid in three moles of nitrogen. Now, I stop at this point. We've been so used to doing grams of nitrogen, but notice I need to get to moles of nitrogen. If I cancel all this out, look what, what I'm left in, moles of nitrogen. So 50 times three divided by 65 divided by two gives me 1.15 moles of nitrogen. Oop, nitrogen. All right, notice that's where this number comes from. So that's how they do it. The 50 divided by 65.02, 50 divided by 65.02 times three divided by two gives me 1.15 moles. So that goes into here. So my pressure is uh, one, um, my moles is 1.15, R is 0 0.0821, and my temperature is 358. You solve for V, okay? So look, 1.15, 358, they're really pretty exact there. Um, uh, uh, A2.06, I said A2.01, I meant to say A2.06, divide by one, and you get 33.9 liters, okay? The point is you need to know what you're given and you need to know what you're trying to get to, okay? Um, and you can use either equation. You can either use the ideal gas law, you can use molarity, like in this equation. Um, so I hope that makes sense, okay? Um, this is kind of a continuation. This is also doing mole to mole ratios if you have to, uh, which we basically did. Um, I don't think there's really anything here. You can do you can do this problem on your own, but basically it's exactly what we just did. Um, you have sodium peroxide is used to remove carbon dioxide. 
from the air supply in spacecrafts. It works by reacting with CO2 and this and that. What volume of CO2, so I'm looking for liters of CO2, at STP, remember what STP was? That was a temperature of 273 and a pressure of one atmospheres. If you react with a kilogram, okay, they've made it a little bit easier, but whatever, a thousand grams of Na2O2, okay? So this should be pretty easy. You're, you're finding liters of CO2. So you gotta convert your thousand grams of Na2O2 into moles of CO2. Once you get to moles of CO2, you enter it into PV equals NRT and you solve for V. Okay, and this is basically how they do it. So here's moles of CO2, plug that in, you have your R, you have your temperature, you have your atmospheres, and you should get 287.4. So why don't you try this on your own for practice, okay? And when we come back to the next uh, uh, set of videos, we will uh, do 11.6.